The best way to learn to recognize poison oak is experience. Not the kind of experience you get when you touch it, but when you see a lot of it in its different forms. And this one is a very typical poison oak plant. And this is October. It's actually Halloween, October 31st. And this is not a terribly old plant. You can see down there at the bottom some of the leaves are turning. And you can see that although these are new leaves up here, they're still green. So not all new leaves are red tinged. Neither are all these leaves turning red because it's fall. But take a good look. You can see these leaves are quite shiny. You can see that although this appears to be three leaves, it has one main stem and it's really a compound leaf with three parts. So you have to be very careful anytime you see anything with three leaves. And you'll see that they're all formed that way. But one of the most important clues is the shininess. Also notice the color of the, st the stem, the trunk, the main stem, whatever you want to call it, not the leaf stem. It's a pretty brown, brownish red. Over here we have a very interesting patch. This is poison oak and as far as I can tell all this stuff is pretty much poison oak. Even these dead looking things coming out of it. Now it's possible somebody could have dumped an old tree here and it could be growing through it. That's always a possibility but I myself would not want to take chances to try to grab the, these mossy limbs and pick them up. Because it could be anything. I have seen some of the actual um, stems where you can see the leaves that have gotten moss on them too. In fact, I think this over here is one of them. So we don't know whether this whole thing is poison oak or just the green parts that aren't part of it. Whenever you run into something like this, it's best to err on the side of caution. You can see the various color of leaves that we have at this time of year. Poison oak is distinct enough so that you can actually recognize it from some distance away. This patch we're looking at here, if we just look straight at it, you'll see that there are some things there that have white tops. And that is coyote bush in bloom. And we'll get closer to it so you can see it better. Then you see kind of right there in the middle, in this front clump, you'll see green and some with reddish tinged leaves and then you'll see some things that just stick straight up in that patch. That's poison oak. And as we get closer you'll see that it's got the three leaves in the whole bit. But you can almost tell just by looking at it that's a place you want to stay away from. Same thing up there on the hill. You can see some kind of mounds that have a reddish tinge to them. Just the greenish reddish tinge. Not the straight brown that you see in the grass dry grass under it, or the grasses that you see on the hill under the oak there. Those are some other kind of thing, but the thing with the definite reddish tinge is going to be poison oak, and you'll see that as we get closer to it. Unfortunately, we have a lot of this good stuff right next to the road, and this is your classic poison oak. Three leaves, shiny. Uh, you can see the newer leaves sort of tinged. I don't want to get too close here because it's not very nice when you get too close to it. But look at the green of the leaves and the definite tri-leaf leaf, compound leaf. And here's another.
good shot of one up close. You would want to stay away from this. This is a very young plant. And we'll contrast that later on with an oak. And this is again, it looks like it's fairly early in the season for this one. What happens is that we usually get these poison oak clumps around the road. Look at the different color leaves at this time of year. You can see how different each of these plants is. What happens is this poison oak will probably be plowed up come spring when our weed abatement man comes up. And instead of actually getting rid of it, he plows it all under, which means he's actually planting it for the next year. So this is basically things that were planted last year. And you can see even these baby plants down here. And the reddish tinge on some of these newer leaves.